Welcome to Exam Assure. Today we will be discussing about the CCMT process that one needs to go through in case if they want to take admission for post graduation in certain government institutes. So quickly seeing about uh, the CCMT process. So who can apply for the CCMT process? So if you are somebody who wants to take admission for post graduation into SPS, that is SPA Bhopal and SPA Vijayawada, or various NITs, you can go through the CCMT process. The important dates for this process are the online registration has started from 23rd May 2022 and the last date for registration for the process will be 12th June 2022. So between 23rd May to 12th June, you need to fill up the form, fill up your choices, make the payment and do your registration process. Now, once the registration process is done, uh, there are regular rounds that take place. So in this video, I will be explaining about the regular rounds and how the process takes place. So once your online registration is done, after that, the first round begins. So after the first round, one is either allotted a seat or not allotted a seat. So in case, if you are not allotted a seat, you can proceed to the round two and then the same process continues. And if you are allotted a seat in the first round itself, the further process is that you have to accept the seat and pay for the same, pay the fees for the same, upload require, required documents for verification. And after that, specify your willingness or withdrawal. Now, what is this willingness or withdrawal? So, uh, if you look at it over here, there are three options that one candidate is given. That is, they may either freeze the seat, that is, accept the seat that they have got, or they may withdraw from the entire process of the CCMT. Or the third option is that they may float, slide, or surrender the seat and participate in the next round. So now let us just look at it in detail that what does float, slide and surrender mean? So taking the first example of float, now to understand this, let us take an example that if there are four institutes, let's call them A, B, C and D. And in these institutes, probably there are different branches and you have applied for the same. Okay, so your um, in your application process, you have prioritized these institutes as, let's say, first, second, third, and fourth priority. And in each institute, probably you have uh, given different branches their respective priorities, so on and so forth. Now, if in the first round, if you are allocated the first preference in Institute C, then, and if you choose to go for float, then in this case, what happens is that in this case, what will happen is that if you choose float, your options that were on the uh, least priority that is below uh, C, that is option two for C and uh, option D of the institute, those will get eliminated. And this will be carried forward to the second round. And in the second round, the processing for your seat will take place among these institutes that are on the higher priority for you. And in case if that does not work out in the second round, your seat in the first choice for Institute C 
will still remain so the seed that you were allotted in the first round still remains with you in the second round as well but in the second round the processing for your choices will be limited to institute a and b which are a higher priority in as per your choice now in case of uh, the option of slide what happens is that let us take the same example there are four institutes a b c and d and you have given them the same preference let's say first choice second third and fourth for different branches so from institute a uh, this was your this x branch is your first choice y branch is your second choice and so on and so forth for the remaining institutes as well now in this case let us say that you are allotted institute b the fourth option from institute b was allotted to you for example and you choose to go for slide so what will happen in slide is that when you move on to the next round the processing that will take place for you will happen only from these remaining choices of institute b so in this case option 1 that is sorry branch 1 branch 2 or branch 3 will be the only options left with you and your processing will be done among these branches so who can go for the option of slide so students who are very sure about which institute they want irrespective of the branch so if you are not worried that okay i want so and so branch but you are very sure that you want some xyz institute only you don't uh, have any specification with respect to the branch then you can go for the option of slide so in this case your institute is retained and the branches are processed in the next round then in case of surrender and participate in the next round so in this choice again let's take the same example of different institutes and different branches and their priorities now if you choose surrender and participate in the next round here whatever seat you are allocated in the first round um, will be left by if you choose this option and in the next round again the entire processing will take place for you so in that case your uh, seat allocated in the first round will not be retained so in this case you will be surrendering the seat if you choose this option and in case if you go for the option of freeze so again taking this same example of different institutes and their different branches and your priority so let us say that um, in the first round you get the third branch for institute a the branch that was your third priority in institute a so if you get that branch and if you decide to freeze so this seat will automatically be given to you and there will be no change for the seat allotment even in the further rounds i hope uh, this is clear to all of you then moving further to the second round the process will be very much similar like it was in the first round wherein again after the second round some people may be allotted a seat or may not be allotted a seat if you are not allotted a seat then you can proceed to the third round and in case if one is allotted a seat again the same process has to be followed and the same thing would happen in the third round as well where if you are allotted a seat you accept it the same process is followed and in case if you are not allotted a seat then you can proceed further towards the special rounds 
so about the special rounds we will discuss it in the next video thank you